Hi, I'm Dr. Jaya Prada. So this is our uh, third video for the database management uh, system introduction. So the two videos link will be given in the description uh, box. You can check it out. And then this is the third part. So here we are going to look into the data models. What is data model? It's nothing but a collection of tools for describing what is data, its relationship among the data, semantics and the consistency constraints. So what is semantics? Semantics is nothing but it's a study of meaning in languages and also the consistency constraints is nothing but the requirement that given for any database transaction must change the effectiveness data only in a specified or the allowed base. We'll be so, uh, seeing all these terms very uh, detailedly in our uh, coming videos. So I'm just telling you the definitions of what is semantics and consistency constraints. And then the data model provides a way to describe the designs of the database in all the three levels that we have seen in the last video, which is physical, logical, and the view levels. There are different numbers of data that are available in DBMS that also we'll be seeing in our forecoming videos very detailedly. So as of now, we can just have a note on that. There are different numbers of data that are available in DBMS. So the data model is actually classified into four categories. What are those four categories? The first one is the relational model, and the second one is relationship model and the semi-structured model and the object oriented model. So the first one we are going to look into the relational model. What's relational model? You know table. What is table? So the table is called as a relation. So relational model, a model that deals with the table is nothing but relational model. It uses the collection of tables to represent both the data and the relationship among those data. So each table, you know what is table? So table will have rows, columns and each columns in a table will have a unique element that is unique name. Each table is known as relations and for each row you will be having the values also. So the relational model is an example of a record based model. So the record based model is so named because the database is structured. This relational model is also called as a structured data model because everything with the format of the records will be fixed. And then each table consists of records of particular type and also each record defines a fixed number of fields. It will not vary. In a table, if you have registration number, name, phone number and then address, each and every record will have the registration number, name, phone number and then address. So for each and every record, it will be a fixed number of fields. It will not change uh, differently. For each and every record, the column, as per the column, there will be a fixed number of fields. So suppose if you have a table where you have a registration number, you have a name and then you have a phone number. So you should have registration number, you can have a name uh, and have an address. So each and every record will have only one. The name might be uh, JP and then the address would be whatever, some address you'll have. And then the second record also you have the same, the fixed number. So you'll have two, you can have Jaya and then you can have some address so it will not change so the column of the table correspond to the attributes of the record type okay so and this relational data model is the most widely used because all the database uh, will have the structured uh, though it might have the unstructured but all the data will have the structured model where the data will go and sit in a table so this is a most majority of the current database that is being used so the next one is Entity relationship model. So this is a major model that we'll be using in our database management system uh, curriculum. So this is a model that uses the collection of basic objects called entities and the relationship among those entities. So what is entity? You could see here an example student course. So each student will be studying a course, right? So the student and the course are called the entities. So each student will be studying a course. So these two are called objects or entity and studying this part is called the relationship. So the entities, student and course are combined through a relationship called study. So this entity is nothing but it will be one table and this course will be a table. You might have a student registration number, name, phone number, CGPA, whatever. You might have many different columns in the table, right? So each and every columns is called as attributes. So the student table will have student ID, it will have student name, it will have student age. So all these three 
columns that constitute the table student okay is called as attributes usually called as a column basically uh, but in database management system each and everything each and every column will be called as attributes see here for course you have a course id and then course name so those two are called columns of the column that constitute the course table but in database management system we call it as a attributes okay so the next one is uh, object based data model so what is object uh, based data model object oriented programming such as c c++ java has become the most dominant software development methodology and it is also plays a vital role in uh, cse role that is in computer science role okay that is domain so this lead to the development of an object oriented data model that has been extending the ea models this is basically the combination this object based data model we call it as object -related data model that is nothing but the combination of object oriented data model and relational data model so this is how you represent the object based data model so a person a person could be a student a person could be a doctor a person could be a engineer so this is these are all attributes for a person you'll have name age this will be attribute and this will called as a method so you would have studied this in your software engineering subject so in uml diagrams you make the attributes and then this will be the method so likewise for students roll number and branch will be the attribute and then this will be the method for doctor you will have id and specialist as the attribute and this will be a method so a person could be a, a student a doctor engineer so each and everything will be so student will be a table so here the relational data model comes into the picture and whereas you also have attributes and methods so this is nothing but object oriented data model so the combination of relational and object oriented Enter constitutes the object based data model. And the last one is semi structured data model. What is semi structured data model? In one word, I could say it's not properly structured. but not properly formatted or structured but somehow it is also structured it's not doesn't mean that completely it's unorganized no it is organized in uh, in some somehow like Uh, partially it is actually organized it doesn't mean that completely it's not uh, formatted properly partially it is actually formatted so the semi structured data model permits the specification of data where individual data item of same type may have different set of attributes whereas in relational data model you will have fixed set of attributes right here it will have may have different sets of attributes the xml which is extensible markup language is the best example or it's the best widely used uh, to represent the semi structured data model there are also the other two old, uh, older models which is called network model and hierarchical model so that we are not going to see it here now so the example of semi structured data model so see here you could say in a document you have a customer where the customer id and the name so inside the name you have first name and last name so address where the address will have street uh number uh, that is door number and then the city the state and then um, you will have a cc on file yes some files will have it and then what is the first order date so you could say the you cannot say this as very formatted as table but however it's also it's understandable it's not making any mess here it's understandable okay for in the document customer id the address and some files and some dates are stored somehow we can understand this so it's not completely messed up so it is partially organized so structured data um, what is this uh, structured data is the one which is actually used in our dbms database management system uh, all would have heard about uh, sql which is a structured query language so structured query language is the programming language that is being used for the structured data so the structured data will be properly storing the data in a tabular format where it is represented by the columns and rows in a database so the database that holds the data in the table is called as relational data sets so the mathematical term relation relation is nothing but table specified to be formed a set of data held as a table so in a structured data all the rows in the table have the same set of column whereas in semi structure we saw it might differ so that's all about uh, our uh, data models we'll be seeing very detailed videos about the sql structure query language in our forthcoming videos thank you thank you so much